Hey kings and queens, this is Tasha coming to you with all your yoga and meditation needs. Today's video is going to be focusing on sun salutation A, B, and C. We're going to go through them, break them down, make it simple and easy for you to be able to do it at home. You can do it along with me or once you get a hang up, you can incorporate into your own practice at home. So a couple of benefits of sun salutation, it's waking up the body. It's usually really good to do first thing in the morning as you wake up, you know, just to get your body, you know, aware and awake before you start your day. Um, it increases your mobility, flexibility. It's an act of self-care and self-love. Um, and it just feels really good to do, especially after even a long day. Sun salutations are awesome to do after work, you know, midday work, on your break, if you have that amount of time to do yoga. So I'm going to break it down for you guys and hopefully you can flow with me. Let's get started. Mountain pose. Deep inhales and exhales here. You're just standing tall and strong. Palms are facing forward. You can close your eyes here if you want. As you inhale, you're sweeping arms up overhead. You can bring them here and stay there. If you want to bring them together, you can. And as you exhale, you're diving, folding forward. Inhaling for a half lift. Hands can go to shins, knees, wherever you're comfortable at. It's all about the spine being straight. Like you can put a cup on the back here and then not spill. So you're here, half lift. Exhaling, hand it to the mat. You're stepping back. We're in plank pose or a push up position. You're inhaling here in plank, engaging that core. And exhale as you lower down. On your inhale, you're coming up, pushing up. You can say here, this is cobra. This is cobra. Some people come all the way up into up dog, wherever you are. That's where you're coming up on your inhale. And as you exhale, we're flexing those feet again, and we're sitting back into downward dog. Deep inhale and exhale here in downward dog. It's good to keep your feet kind of hip width distance apart. They're not like touching and straight together. It's gonna make it really uncomfortable doing poses like that. If you want in this pose, bending your knees helps get the weight out of your wrist. Here you go. Paddle out your feet. You can shake your head yes and no. Deep inhale and exhale here. On the next inhale, you're looking at the front of your mat. And as you exhale, you're slowly stepping one by one. Or you step all the way. Some people hop if you're able to move forward fold. Inhaling for a half lift again. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling, sweeping arms up overhead. And exhale, hands at heart center or hands back to your side. That's sun citation eight. So beginners, more simpler of the suns. So we're gonna go set up for sun salutation B. So we're energizing, a lot of core work. Kind of sweaty, gets the heart pumping, depending on how medium you do it, how fast you do it. I'm gonna break it down slowly so we can learn how to do it. We're here in mountain pose again, or Tadasana. Deep inhale and exhale here. On the inhale, you're sweeping arms up and you're sitting into chair pose. And as you exhale, you're folding forward. Inhaling, you're in a half lift. Exhaling, hands are to the mat. You can step or hop into plank. You're inhaling here in plank. Exhaling as you lower down to the mat. You're inhaling, coming up. Hands can come back here and right next to your hips if that helps to so push up into up dog. And as you exhale, you're flexing those feet again, sitting back into downward dog. Deep inhale and exhale here in down dog. On the next inhale, 
inhale, you're stepping that right foot behind the right hand, planting that left foot down on the mat, sweeping arms up, you're coming up strong. We are in warrior one on your right. Make sure you're not dumping all the weight into this knee, even though it's bent and it's like the leading limb. You're not dumping here. You're still strong back here in this leg as well. Strong like a warrior. Inhaling as you lift your chest. Exhaling, hands are coming back to the mat. We're stepping that right foot back. We're in plank pose again. Inhaling here in plank and exhale as you lower down. Inhaling, coming up for up dog. We're exhaling, flexing those feet, and we're back in down dog. Inhaling, stepping the left foot behind the left hand, planting that right foot down behind you. You're sweeping, coming up strong. We're in warrior one. Um, you can always readjust. It's all about a wider stance. And I think the wider you are with the poses, the stronger you can get so you're not dumping here. I think that's why people kind of don't like some of these poses. They feel like, oh, I'm dumping here. You gotta push back here too. So you're pushing, you're strong and stable in this back right leg, and you're still strong here as well. Engage that core, and you're lifting and strong. Inhaling as you lift your chest. Exhaling, hands are coming back to the mat. Stepping that left foot back. We're in plank pose again. Inhale in plank. Exhale as you lower down to the mat. Inhaling, coming up for cobra. We're coming to up dog again. Flexing those feet, exhaling back into downward dog. Deep inhales and exhales here. On the next inhale, you're looking at the top of your mat. And as you exhale, you're stepping or hopping forward. Inhaling for a half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeping arms up, we're sitting back into chair. Exhaling, hands are to the side, we're back into dasana. That's sun B. We're gonna set up for sun C. Um, it's all about like heart opening, kind of back bendy um, poses, but still kind of the same go around. So our deep inhales and exhales here into dasana. Sweeping arms up overhead. Here's where we do our little back bend, opening up that chest. Or if this is too much of the hands up here, you can bring like gold post hands and you're here opening. That's on the inhale, and as you exhale, you're folding forward. Inhaling for a half lift. Exhaling, you're stepping only your left foot to the back. Lowering that left knee, planting that left foot down. You're coming up into a lunge. You can stay here. Some people also can do a gold post hands here. And they're opening the chest. Some people think it's too much and they rest here. Or you can rest your hands on your hips. As long as you're tall and strong and grounded. Also, with that foot back here, for me, personally, foot planted flat helps me to stay stable so I'm not wobbling. But if you're here and that helps you to stay stable, then you can flex that foot back there as well. The inhales and exhales wherever you are. Inhaling as you lift your chest. Exhaling, hands are back to the mat. We're stepping that left foot back to the front. We're in a forward fold. Inhaling for a half lift. Exhaling, hands are to the mat. 
stepping only the right foot back this time, lowering that right knee, planting that foot however you get stable, and you're slowly coming up stronger in a lunge. Plank, inhale in here and plank, exhale as you lower down, inhale in as you're coming up for cobra, exhale in, back into downward dog, deep inhales and exhales here and down dog. for a half lift, exhale to fold, inhaling, sweeping arms up towards the sky, remembering open up that chest, you're exhaling, hands at heart center, 